Now let's talk to Vivian. Where is she? She's over here, right? Yeah, there she is. I met an elven mage earlier. Solo, I believe he was called. I admit I was surprised. I didn't expect to find mages among the Inquisition. Tell me, why were you at the Divine Conclave? I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue. The Templars made their beds? What? The chaos harms everyone. The war benefits no one. It must end. And order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. Hmm. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. Yeah. I'll do all I can. I'll try not to let them down. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford, my dear. For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. No one should have that power. I'll use it to change things. If that's true, then I'll put it to good use. I suppose we'll see. Hmm. I've stolen I just slightly disapprove. I'm saying I'm going to try to use it to change things for the better, at least. Yes. At least I hope. <laughs> Uh, tell me about the circle. Any chance? Oh my gosh! I wanted to ask you about the circle. <clears throat> of course. What do you wish to know? Uh, tell me. Uh, um, how did the rebellion start? How did we come to this state with the circles in revolt? A failure of perspective that infected circle leadership. Mages lived solely in a world of Templars and mages. They could not even imagine. Kirkwall gave the world a reason to remember its fear of magic. Hmm. A mage killed hundreds with a snap of their fingers. So what a fucking asshole Anders is. Jesus, he started all this shit. Commoners and nobles alike called out to the Chantry for protection. But the malcontents in the towers thought nothing of this. They cared only for themselves and for their anger at the new Templar restrictions. When a mage attempted to assassinate Divine Justinia again, the mages protested the investigation. The leadership chose to vote on independence based on the intolerable conditions imposed by the Templars, hmm. sparing no thought to the fact that magic was more feared in the aftermath of these attacks than it had been since Tavinta's day. So long as they had their freedom, they could care little for riots, angry mobs, or about pitting mages against each other. Hmm. Do you know Fiona? Are you familiar with Grand Enchanter Fiona? Before her horrendously ill-timed and selfish vote for independence, I thought her adequate at her job. In her dotage, she could not handle looking after the well-being of so many people. We would have done better to replace her years ago to let her spend time gardening. Hmm. Were they justified? They have cause to <coughs> In the aftermath of their terrorist attack, was that really the most opportune time to break away? By all means, protest abuses by the Templar. Just don't do it in a way that says mages support wholesale murder. Yeah, that's so true. When they did, my colleagues all but declared war upon the ordinary people of Thedas. Hmm. A war in which we are outnumbered a hundred to one. Mages are fighting mages. I thought the fighting was only between mages and Templars. Why are mages fighting mages? The vote for independence was carried by only a small margin. But Fiona chose to let the motion those who opposed a rash declaration of war against the entire free world had little choice. By breaking from the Chantry when they did, the rebels declared themselves in support of mass murder. Hmm. Anyone who did not wish to support terrorism and the slaughter of innocents was forced to take arms against the rebels. Huh, okay. Anything else? Uh, tell me about yourself. I'd like to know more about you. Would you like to know? Let's Where are you from? Your accent's not Orlesian. Where exactly are you from? I am from the Circle, my dear. One's country of origin rarely matters, sir. But if you must know, I was born in Whiteland in the 
free march. Mm, okay. I was sent to the Oswick Circle, but I transferred to Monty Mao while still an apprentice. Uh, how did you become a courtier? I'm curious how a circle mage winds up a courtier. Nobody winds up at court, my dear. It takes a great deal of effort to arrive there. I caught the eye of Duke Bastien de Gisme, an advantageous connection that opened many doors. Hmm. When the position of enchanter to the Imperial Court became vacant, I was able to secure it. Okay. You married a duke. You're married to the Duke de Gislaine? <laughs> of course not, my dear. Don't be ridiculous. Marriage is the business of alliance and inheritance. I'm Bastien's mistress. Uh, isn't that the same thing, though? I, I don't know. <laughs> isn't that the same thing? Or what does his wife think? Duchess de Gislaine. Musical salons together. She was a great patron of the arts. Hmm. She passed away from a fever a few years ago. Poor dear. What is a court enchanter? What duties does a court enchanter have? I am tasked with providing assistance to the Empress on arcane matters. Most of my predecessors restricted this to lighting lamps and doing that. <laughs> In such troubled times as these, however. Okay, she provides political advice or majesty on the subject of the major rebellion. Okay. Alright, so we talked to her. Alright, that's good. And then, what the hell? What's this? I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Identify yourself. Who are you, soldier? Comissius Aclasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some division mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. Huh. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. Why? But why, though? Can do for the Inquisition. Meet us there and watch us work. Tell me about your company. What can your Bull's chargers offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around, Val Royale. We've got references. Hmm. Tell me about your leader. What should I know about your commander? One of those canary, the big guy. Whoa. Horns. He leads from the front. He pays well and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first deal. He's a canary, that's interesting. Why gave us this message? Send us this information. Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. Hmm. You're welcome to help. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Let me, uh... Let me real quick go to the potions and equip uh, Vivian and Sarah with uh, potions now. And I guess also we should probably talk to Solus and all my other companions too to see if they have anything new to say. What does Sarah have? Let's see. She's got. Eh, let's see. Map potions. Map. Probably should map this. Tears of the Dead. What the heck? I'll probably map that. Why not? And Tivian Fire. I don't have many of these, though. Some of a bitch. Hmm. I don't have a lot of those, though. Oh, wait, Vivian. Regeneration potion. I only have three elf fruit. Oh my gosh, really? What the fuck, man? Holy crap. <laughs> I only have three elf fruit. I need to start freaking getting some. It's just so hard to, you know, freaking do? do all that shit. I can't talk to him about anything, huh? Huh. Okay. I guess we can't talk to any of my team members about anything new. No? Alright. Any new requisitions we can do? Does Leanne have anything new to say? Yes. Okay, you're well connected. Any updates? Let's ask that. Hmm, okay, nothing. Nothing new. 
Let's see, inspect our positions. Uh, nothing we can do there. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, do another mission then. So we can either go to the Hinterlands, Storm Coast, or somewhere. Huh. Try to figure out where we can go here. We also have this other area opened up over here. Look, we have this. The the temple area or whatever. Have you kept in touch with our friends huh? in Lady Esterby's estate? Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We will have names soon enough. Hmm. Okay. What's the Chantry remains? What is this? It's a confrontation with Mother Hevera and the Valerios Market had the desired effect to a point. The Chantry's con condemnation of the Inquisition was lost amid a flurry of speculation over the ac actions of Lord Seeker Lucius, as well as a divide in the opinions of the remaining Chantry clerics. There are, however, clerics still loudly denouncing the Herald of Andraste. The Inquisition could leave them to their speeches, but dealing with them before the Chantry elects a new divine could be of benefit. Yeah, I agree. Josephine, delicate hand is needed. We should focus on clerics who can be swayed. Make their voices louder than those who oppose us. These clerics were not conclave for a reason. They all have secrets and weaknesses we should exploit. Just send a contingent of Inquisition soldiers to the Grand Cathedral. They can offer protection, and their visibility will remind the clerics that they are not out of our reach. Hmm. That sounds more threatening. I don't like that. Let's, uh... Let's do Liliana's idea let's see what we have. for that, and then let's see what else. Red Jenny. Oh, this is a quest for her, a quest for her. That's weird. I can make no sense of this. The Herald found her. Perhaps he can advise. Colon. A letter from Sarah Falls. For your big hats, Lord. Whoever says you're rubbish, his servants don't care, but could drop a few things for them. They'll give Josephine a surprise. I think scrolls or something. Uh. Hmm. Can we acquire middlemen and secure the goods in the favor of the noble. We have no time for games. Far simpler to stop this soldiers and find favor with this noble. The heraldry of a minor house. Shall we instead see what the surprise might be? Yeah, sure. She's asking for Josephine in here, so let her do it, I guess. And then truth or dare, the Imperial Court. A letter addressed to Vivian lies upon opened on the table. A note has been added to the top, which reads, Josephine, darling, you should take care of this. V, my dearest Vivian, you cannot have heard the shocking allegations against the, the Inquisition or surely you would never have been seen with them. Allow me as a friend to open your eyes. People are saying that Divine Justinian is indeed alive, but that the Inquisition, her closest advisors and most trusted servants have orchestrated all this chaos on her orders. Well, that's bullshit. That it was Seeker Prothengase to and Sister Nightingale who sabotaged the Conclave in order to eliminate the opposition within the Chantry and cut off the heads of the Major Valian and Templars in a single stroke to save your own reputation. You must escape this acquaintance Immediately, with deepest concern, Vesliaka de Maris. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Could escort people be like, yo, you want to see that she's dead? Look at this shit. She's freaking dead. <laughs> No, I don't like that. I guess we should wait. Let me see if there's any quests in Ferelden, though. 